वेलकम माई सेल्फ के गोखले कृष्णन हियर टू प्रेजेंट आर प्रोजेक्ट विच आई हैव डन विथ माई बैचमेट्स एस जमालुद्दीन जे कैस्ट्रो एंड वेंकट राघवन ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ सूटेबल कॉर्नेस्टेंट मेडिट इन कोरोनरी आर्ट्री स्टेंट इज बींग एम्प्लॉयड टू वाइड एन द लूमन ऑफ एन आर्ट्री विच हैज बीन नैरोड बाई सेवरल साइड सेवरल इफेक्ट सच एस एथ्रोस्कोलॉरसिस कैंसिफिकेशन ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स or due to in atherogenesis because of medical errors currently we employ drug eluding stents dees and bare metal stent bms for this process but there is a problem called instant inoster stenosis because of employment of these two kind of stents in the case of bare metal stent the restenosis process is triggered by the development of neo intima a new tissue around the stent and when this new entima proliferates in an uncontrolled manner it becomes a hy- hyperplasia where the whole stent including the inner lumen of the stent is also covered with this tissue and when this hyperplasia grows in an uncontrollable way it again reabsorbs the vessels so the purpose of employment of the stent is being defeated in the case of drug eluding stent it is because of late st- late stent prothrombosis it is this triggers again antigen the late stent thrombosis prevents the blood vascular ble, uh, the blood vessel to again come back to its normal position even after the stent has been has been removed after serving its purpose in our project we have used magnesium alloy az31 which has my uh, ma- magnesium 96% aluminum 3% zinc 0.96% and manganese as scan calcium calcium metal in traces because magnesium alloy has been effectively by a comfortable with our system and it has been proved by previous studies and this magnesium metal is being coated with a polymer called phbv that is poly 3 hydroxy butyrate co3 valerate and this polymer has the advantage as it can degrade into a molecule called glucose which is highly biocompatible with our human body okay the coating process which we have used is called as electro spinning in electro spinning there is a production of nano fibers of the polymer solution that can be coated over the material the device used for this experiment is a spin nano that is available at nanotech research center in sarang university the following are the specifications of this device the collected stents can be varied from 8 to 30 cm the voltage range can be varied from 0 to 50 kV and it has a capacity of 3 syringes now talking about the materials and methods of the experiment the metal sheet is a 31 was cut in a dimension 10 mm into 10 mm and it already had a diameter thickness of 1 mm the cutting was performed by ENC that is available at the mechanical lab in SRM university the machine used for electro spinning was e spin nano and the specification of this machine has been mentioned earlier the solution used for electro spinning had a concentration of 15 percentage of phbv in a solution of sol- solution mix of the solvents chloroform and dmf which were mixed at the ratio of 80 by 20 and while ca- coming to the conditions that were followed during the electro spinning the temperature was set at the at 20 degrees celsius the humidity was 65 percentage and the collected distance was 15 cm so that more fiber can be collected over it as a result of the electro spinning the fiber the coat on the metal and we also obtain a yield of scaffold of phb all these three the scaffold the bare metal and the fire coated metal were taken for various characterization tests such as sem xrd ftir and corrosion tests and also we observe the morphological tests of the surfaces in simulated body fluid while coming to the results of the experiment the sim images have shown that the bare metal the co- coated metal with annealing and coated metal which has been annealed as has been chemically treated while coming to the same observation the methodology which we have followed is according to keepy sausanya et al in 2014 the bare metal is normal as usual whereas while comparing the annealed and coated metal and annealed chemically treated and coated metal the annealed chemically treated and coated metal has shown the acceptance of fiber x 
uniform as well as extremely high and this is very evident while they are going for the same at 5 micrometer and 10 micrometer next while coming to the FTIR analysis that is Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy the pattern of the anneal and coated metal is similar to that of the bare metal whereas the pattern of the anneal coated and treated metal is similar to that of the PHPV polymer this signifies that the PHPV polymer has been coated uniformly as well as present all over the surface of the substrate that is MG alloy AZ31 next while coming to the XRD analysis the peaks at 30 to 40, de 40 degrees to theta has been amplified in the coated metal this is because the XRD peaks of the PHBV polymer lies in the same region so the peaks have been amplified when compared to the bare metal and this has been proved previously by Van et al. in 2004. Next, the SBF immersion test has been carried out for 21 days and after taking out, while going for the SBF immersion test, the test was carried out for bare metal, scaffold and the coated and treated metal. After 21 days, the complete morphology of the surface of the bare metal has been damaged extensively and this is because of pitting corrosion. Next, while coming to the coated and treated metal, the surface have started now only to corrode a little bit and this suggests that it can be used for implants. Next, coming, finding, finally coming for the scaffold. The scaffold has remained morphologically stable even after 21 days and that is why there is a, there's a suggestion that uh, this question as well as a suggestion that the electrospinning can be done directly over the metallic stent rather than going for coated metal for stent making. Next, while coming for the corrosion test, the voltage curve, the potential dynamic voltage curve of both the bare metal as well as the coated and treated metal has been taken, and the coated and treated metal has shown a shift in the in the voltage level, which signifies that the corrosion of the coated and treated metal is far long. The corrosion rate or degradation rate is very very negligible or very very low when compared to that of the bare metal. We also per, we are then while finally going for the simulation model using ANSYS software, we per, we chose the nitinol stent model. The nitinol stent model nitinol stent model has been chosen because the Poisson ratio as well as the density and the properties of the tensile stress and the Young's modulus are similar to that of the magnesium metal, the alloy that we have chosen. While going for the ANSYS model, we uh, we took both the coated and treated metals properties as well as the coated metal properties and by applying at 5 newton and 10 newton loads the coated and treated metal property uh, metal property has shown significantly low stress when compared to other when compared to the bare metal and this shows that our stent material that we have synthesized is completely compatible for a stent design and especially to that of retinol thank you